What's up guys? Welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel if you're new. We are seven weeks out today. You just saw what I'm looking like. That's the first physique update that I've given you guys I think in like probably a month. So feeling a little bit better. Things are a bit tighter this week. Weight hit a new low at 128 which is awesome. I feel like the cut in calories and extra cardio is kind of starting to hit my body now and I'm definitely feeling a little bit more tired but I'm also super excited because things are getting difficult and I like a challenge so we love that. But but, um, today's video is going to be a training video just kind of a day in the life I am not going to be doing a full day of eating just because I did that in my last video and no food has changed as of today for that so I did do a leg day last video and my food is the exact same however my friends are gonna be doing some cheat meals tonight and some fun stuff we are all planning to get together to watch the Olympia so I will show you what they decide to have because I mean who doesn't like watching other people eat especially when you can't Right. But yeah, I'm training with Ryan Shea today. So Ryan is also a Jack Factory athlete, a really good friend of mine. We are gonna be training legs together. So I'll show you guys the entire workout. And then whatever we decide to do afterwards, I'll take you along with me. And then I'll tell you a little bit about what the plan is for the next week for prep, because we are making some adjustments as I just checked in with Morgan today. And we are gonna be with Morgan later today. So we'll have a chat with him. I'll have a chat with you guys, keep you guys posted. But that's what I'm looking like. I'm feeling pretty good excited to kind of dig deep get these adjustments and move forward and make some more progress this week but yeah i'm ready to go i took some pre-workout i had nitro surge and pump surge as per usual if you guys do order anything from jack factory you can use my link below and code tbt to save 20 percent off your entire order put a story up screenshot it tag me let me know if you guys like what i'm recommending i always love to see that stuff and i love to see what flavor combos you guys like so be sure to tag me and let me know or comment down below on this video so hopefully you enjoy this workout if you try it out be sure to let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and wait for Ryan and we'll see you guys in the next clip. Yeah, get it, get it. Good work. Coach A. All right, let's go. Yeah, five more, come on. Yeah, it looks good.
Here you go. I tell them what you just did there? Focus. Um, so this exercise, we're doing weighted Bulgarian split squats. So 12 each side on the Smith machine. <laughs> After we do 12 weighted on each side, drop the weight, and then they just do 12 body weight. It okay. sucks. Bad. So, but this is our last main movement. We're just gonna do adductors next. Some calves. Walk. Go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Like day is done. I'm literally dead. Wearing some new TLF stuff though. Uh, do you want me to tag anyone in this pose? You can tag Morgan. Just posing together. Jacked. <laughs> Just helping Jacked. me with my caption. Yeah, so this is a new sweater from TLF. It's the men's in a small. It's super cozy. I like it a lot. These are the new joggers I got as well. Love them. Size small in both. And so you're gonna get some. What? I said you're gonna get me some. Yeah, we're gonna get Ryan some stuff, hopefully. But we're gonna go run some errands, do a 30 minute walk outside, get some coffee, and then we're gonna head to Morgan's. So we'll just take you guys along with us. How are you feeling? I feel fantastic. Really? I feel no, like I'm not dying. actually, I feel horrible. Yeah, I do too. I need a shower and I need food. Same. And hopefully some pizza later. Yeah, it must be nice. Well, well good for you. Thanks. Can't wait. by Jack Factory. <laughs> Recycle around here. Got to. So you keep all your stuff? This is where all my stuff is, yeah. Do you like it? That's really good. It is good. Yeah. Shout out Morgan. Okay, finishing off cardio. Just had a meal, had my coffee here, and I'm doing it on this thing, because I have to do some editing, so multitasking. That's, that's a sick bike, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, looks like it. I did my whole prep on that bike, for the most part. Yeah, so, doing cardio, then not sure, probably gonna go to Morgan's. Yeah. And we'll watch the Olympia. Yeah. Hello. What's up? Um, so yeah, workout was good. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little overview. So we started with abductors and then some lying hamstring curls just to kind of warm up the knees. Then we got into leg extensions and then for our three main movements we did Smith machine squats, leg press, and then Bulgarian split squat drop set. And then I finished with some adductors and calves. Yeah, because you need to do more Um, yeah, I'm really bad for training by myself, and I find like pushing myself when someone else is there. Like even you were like, do more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wasn't going to. Like I was hesitant, and especially when I'm, like I'm on prep and dieting, and I I'm low energy anyway. Like I texted Ryan before in the gym, and I was like, I'm not really feeling so great. Like I'm tired or whatever. But having someone there that knows your limits or just like knows that you can do more and is willing to actually spot you and like push you is just super helpful. We were just talking about like what we're doing tonight and we're going to Morgan's to watch the Olympia and we've all been hanging out a lot lately and just all filming we all have kind of the same goals in mind obviously Ryan's a Jeff Factory athlete too so is Morgan so am I so that's super beneficial for us because we're all really close but I think just like surrounding yourself with like like-minded people that yeah. are driven that have the same goals as you is like super important it's something that I'm definitely really grateful for so like today I probably would have had an okay workout but then with Ryan there he's also helping me film and like also helping push me in the workout Definitely makes a huge difference, um, especially on prep. I don't know, it's nice. I feel being back home and being able to like hang out with you guys and not feel pressure to, like, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, like it's like the people that you're surrounded with now after moving back home 
are more focused on the same goals that you have. So yeah. it's easy to socialize without being pressured to, you know, into the norms like going out and drinking every weekend and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, because you know, like when you're away, you don't have anyone to do this kind of stuff with. Like. And uh, yeah, when you're away, it's like everything's so new. When I was in Halifax, it's like I wanted to go to new restaurants, and I wanted to go to new bars, and I wanted to go do fun things like the vineyards, and I did all that stuff in like a short period of time, which was great. But it was almost like I didn't get that full travel <laughs> experience but I almost don't need it like I feel so much more content and happy in my routine right now and it just like feels good knowing that I have you guys with me here now that are kind of like when we're all at the same level with everything and yeah I don't know it's just like especially on prep it's a like nice feeling yeah like you're a lot more comfortable you're less stressed you get into a routine and you're like okay when I do have energy I do have people to do stuff with that's not going to be like drinking it's gonna be like okay we can sit down we can chill we can watch a podcast mm -hmm. like we really don't do anything anyways like yeah but like it's a, you can do stuff with people like you don't have to feel like you can't it's just like know that it's your thing like tonight like, you guys are gonna do food and that's great but like I'm just like I'm the one who's deciding not to do that right now but it's like you're still there and supporting me in other ways which is super nice but yeah totally yeah I just wanted to say like that's something that's, that I've been like definitely more grateful for since I've been home yeah. And just in general, I think we've both been getting closer, which is super nice. Yeah. But no, it is definitely key surrounding yourself with people like, who are like minded and like have the same yeah. goals and like that are supportive and positive. And that's something that I've really been trying to do lately is kind of remove people who aren't supportive or are self centered, I guess. Yeah, just, just don't, they don't align with what's, you know, your best interest. Yeah. And I don't know, I feel good about it. But yeah, so we're going to go watch the Olympia. We're super excited. Yeah, okay, so we're going to head to Morgan's now. If anything interesting happens, I will show you guys. Otherwise, you're probably just going to see them eating a bunch of food and me chilling with the dogs. So, super fun. Yeah, can't wait. All right, we'll see you there. All right, Ryan. Ready for some snacks? I can't wait. Morgan has good. the starting lineup for yeah. tonight. <laughs> Lots of snacks. Lots of snacks. You mean the vlog, bro? <laughs> this is Chloe. She hasn't been on the vlog before. <laughs> We're celebrating uh, a Morgan Mac Nutrition slash Jack Factory unification. <laughs> yeah, legit. And oh, oh, friendship. And do you want to show us the new okay. product? The uh, the mask? Yeah. Yeah, sure. One of the main new products. So we have a... Uh, Put it on, put it on. Yeah, we need, like, no. come on. We only got them today. Oh my god, right over the nose, like you want it. Oh, it has like a piece over the nose. Thing. And it's like wow. breathable too. Yeah, it's breathable. Oh my god. You guys have definitely seen me wear this before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Beautiful. So we got a fresh batch of these. They're going pretty quick, man. Like and I post the hats and everyone wants a hat. Uh, uh, but like, uh, I literally said in the post, I'm like, the hats, like, I only got a couple for prototypes. Yeah. And everyone's going to have one hat and one shirt. And I'm like, you, you must have the sound off. We're going to do crew necks and stuff, so. I see that you did your living room up for us. So, so any any hardcore quotations? Throw them at me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, you getting big? This is Jared. How's it going? Getting big. Yeah. Tell us about yourself. Getting big, big. Amateur bodybuilder on the way, way out. Yet, <laughs> Following yeah. on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? So it is the next day. I am home. This little day vlog turned into a weekend vlog. But I did go to Costco, so I'm just going to show you guys my little Costco haul. I did do a mini grocery haul like a couple of days ago, so you would have seen that in my last video probably. But this is a Costco haul. I picked up a bunch of stuff and stocked up for this week and next week. And just want to talk a little bit about being prepared because that's something that I always try to preach. Being prepared, staying organized, all of that. So for meal prep for me, basically what I like to do is cook up a bunch of stuff and have it in big Tupperware containers in the fridge and just take it with me and take my food scale with me when I go for a day or two. Sometimes I'll stay at friends in town. I do live 20 to 25 minutes away from most of my friends. Sometimes I'll stay out in town and I wanna make sure that I always have my stuff with me. So having things cooked when I leave the house in big containers makes it a whole lot easier. Obviously do what you like, but for me, this is definitely the best and easiest, most efficient way. It's just kind of like cooking up all your meat for three to four days, cooking up all your vegetables for three to four days, having everything that you need on hand to get a good start for the week. It is Sunday, so today is that day for me. Tomorrow's a holiday, so I had to make sure that I had everything that I needed. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Costco. As for last night, we all just chilled out, watched the Olympia. 
they had their snacks, they had their fun. I actually really enjoyed just being around them, having good chats about bodybuilding, having good chats about just what's going on with all of us. And it's always good to just, you know, be around people, like I said, with Ryan last night, who are like-minded and just supportive and not pressuring you to do anything that you don't wanna do. And yeah, so I had a really great night, got a good sleep, feeling good today. So enough of me talking, I'm gonna show you guys what we got at Costco. All right, so here is everything that I got. So I had to go with these chicken breasts. They were the only ones that were there when I went. And same with this beef. I would have liked to get some extra lean ground turkey, but they were all out at Costco. So basically what I do with the beef is that I'll cook it and then I'll rinse and drain it a couple of times. Just get all the excess fat and everything off of it. I only have beef, I think, three times a week. So not a whole lot. I believe it's just my leg days maybe. I'll have to double check that because my meal plan did slightly change today. But it's good to have anyways. You can always freeze up a bit of it and then take it out as needed. Same thing with the chicken. Chicken does bother me sometimes. I'm hoping that this one doesn't really... We'll see. It's because it's grain-fed chicken, so it's a little bit higher quality. So hopefully it doesn't bother me too much, but I still need it right now. It's still my plan. So that's kind of my main protein. I also decided to get some tuna. I had this the other night, and it was actually really good in placement of my other fish meal. And quick and easy. So I have two packs of these, and I basically just rinse and drain this too and have it on a rice cake with some sweet and spicy honey mustard or something like that. So it's a decent meal, fills me up, and I really do just like tuna fish so got two packs of these um, I also went ahead and got regular egg whites I was trying to get the free range egg whites I do find them a little bit easier on my stomach as Morgan mentioned in my last video but the store that I went to were all out and I needed some so this will have to do for now I'll likely freeze a couple of them and then just use them as needed if I can't get my hands on some free range over the next few days if you are on a budget though obviously these are a lot cheaper at cost um, I went ahead and got some seasoning so taco seasoning I got this one which I actually have haven't had before but it looks pretty good roasted garlic and peppers I like to season my stuff a lot usually just with pepper and salt I put pink salt on all of my main meals and even on my snacks half the time so got a big container of that because it's way cheaper to get one of these than it is to buy at the local grocery store so I got that stuff as for seasoning and sauces and low calorie substitutes sweeteners all of that we will be taking those out and adjusting them and being consistent with those when we're about three or four weeks out. Right now, I can kind of season things as per usual as long as I'm consistent with them. Lots of pink salt, so there's no issue there. But yeah, that's just a little heads up on that. Um, as for fruit, we went ahead and got two containers of strawberries. There were no blueberries at Costco. So I got two of those and then I got these raspberries. Again, I only have fruit three times a week, but these are definitely my favorite and they digest really well, but they are my meal plan, so I just have those. If they do get taken out, we'll just substitute with an extra scoop of reds and greens powders. So there you have that. For our vegetables, we have mushrooms. Mushrooms are definitely my favorite. Mushrooms and tomatoes, I should say. And we obviously have bell peppers as well, but I find mushrooms and tomatoes super great in eggs, omelets, all of that kind of stuff. Um, even with chicken and different things like that. It always cooks up really nicely. So two packs of mushrooms. I really like these blended tomatoes. I've been trying these out instead of regular tomatoes lately. They're a little bit sweeter and I just like them a lot. So I got those. Got some avocados for our fats. We have eggs over here as well. That's kind of where my main fat sources, I guess, or what my main fat sources are coming from. Right now we have avocados and natural peanut butter. And that's pretty well it besides whatever comes from the meats and things that I eat throughout the day and like protein powder. There's not a whole lot in that anyway, but yeah, I got this kale salad for my nan because she loves it. Bell peppers just to cook up. I always cook my veggies, especially these. They digest so much better for me when they're cooked. And that's a tip that Morgan gave me. So I do that now. That should do me for a few weeks with certain items. And then everything else I'll go ahead and stock up on as needed. So my plan right now is to cook up a couple of these chicken breasts. I'm going to cook up probably a quarter of this meat. I'm going to put everything away. And then I'm actually going to work out after I eat. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this little weekend vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my little Costco haul. I will be uploading a video in another couple of days doing like a full day of eating, probably a training session, and maybe a little bit of a prep update. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying this content from me and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you guys in the next one.